Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Hagamed, and today I'm going to show you the correct placement of a pelvic binder. When it comes to pelvic binders, what I see commonly is that people commit the mistake of placing the pelvic binder higher at the level of the iliac crest. However, what you should aim for is the level of the greater trochanter, which is demonstrated right here. And now I'm going to show you how to place it on a real trauma victim. So first I'm going to demonstrate to you how to place a commercial uh, pelvic binder. The one that we use commonly here is called the T-Pod. Uh, but also in the second video, I'm going to show you how to uh, place a pelvic binder using just a bed sheet. So first I'm going to use a T-Pod on my body right here, Jim, and uh, we'll go over the steps. So again, here, my aim will be the greater trochanter. That's my, li my landmark. And uh, I'm going to fold the T-Pod, of course, somebody going to be holding C-spine for me at the top of the bed. And then someone is going to uh, roll this patient to their right side. So Jim, can please turn to the right side. Thank you. Very helpful. And then roll it back. All right. And roll it back here. And you align the two sides together. And if one side feels uh, longer than the other side, what you can do is fold. So fold the sheet like this. Fold it more. Perfect. And this is uh, has a Velcro, so the Velcro goes over here. And then you see with all these threads, it's so easy to just uh, add in the, um, the, the resistance here. So you can just like pull the threads together and then use those safety knobs at the top. And then you document the patient information and the time of the placement of the pelvic binder. That's it. Now I'm going to show you how to improvise by using a bed sheet as a pelvic binder. So again, we have this pelvic sheet here um, and I already rolled it. So someone is holding C-spine for Jim and then someone is doing the log rolling for me. Then I roll you, sir, to your right side. You can go ahead, roll him back. And then you have the sheet here for you. Then me and my partner, we're going to try to align the sheets together so that we can correctly place it around the greater trochanter. And then you have enough bite there for you. Hi, Brandon. Now we're going to swap spots. So crisscrossing the sheet. And then, you know, pull, uh, you know, away from each other so that, uh, the pelvis space is narrowed and closed. And what I like to do is use a hemostat as a way of securing the sheet. So I use a hemostat here, mindful not to bite the patient. One. And then on your side, Brandon. Perfect. So they can show it's secure. And here you go.